Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today's topic of discussion is an instrument named fluorescence microscope. This video is prepared and presented by Anushka Mukherjee, a member of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. What is fluorescent microscope? First, let us know what is fluorescence microscope. A fluorescence microscope is an optical microscope that studies the characteristics of organic or inorganic substances using fluorescence and phosphorescence instead of, or in addition to, reflection and absorption. Fluorescence is the emission of light by a material that has absorbed light or other electromagnetic radiation, while phosphorescence is a kind of photoluminescence that is similar to fluorescence. A phosphorescent substance, unlike fluorescence, does not instantaneously re-emit the energy it absorbs. August Kohler, Karl Reichert, and Heinrich Lehmann, among others, invented the fluorescence microscope in the early 20th century. Principle 1. Cellular components are mostly colorless and difficult to discern under a microscope. The primary idea behind fluorescence microscopy is to use dyes to stain the components. 2. Fluorescent dyes, also known as fluorophores or fluorochromes, are chemicals that absorb excitation light at a certain wavelength, usually UV and release light at a longer wavelength after a brief delay. The time difference between absorption and emission is very small, on the order of nanoseconds. 3. The emission light may then be separated from the excitation light, revealing the fluorophore's position. 4. Fluorescence microscopy illuminates the material with a significantly greater intensity light. This light causes fluorescent species in the sample to excite, resulting in the emission of longer wavelength light. 5. Rather than the light utilized to illuminate and excite the sample, the picture generated is based on the second light source or the emission wavelength of the fluorescent species. Parts. The following are typical fluorescence microscope components. Fluorescent dyes are one of the most common types of fluorescent dyes, fluorophore. A fluorophore is a fluorescent chemical molecule that, when excited by light, may re-emit light. Fluorophores are usually made up of a combination of aromatic groups or planar or cyclic compounds with multiple bonds. For a variety of biological substances, a number of fluorescent stains have been developed. Small compounds that are inherently luminous and bind a biological molecule of interest are among them. Nucleic acid stains such as DAPI and Hochaste, as well as phalloidine, which is used to stain actin filaments in mammalian cells, are examples of these. A source of light Xenon arc lamps or mercury vapor lamps with an excitation filter, lasers, and high-power LEDs are among the four major types of light sources employed. For wide-field epifluorescence microscopes, xenon lamps, mercury lamps, and LEDs with a dichroic excitation filter are widely employed, whereas lasers are generally utilized for complicated fluorescence microscopy methods. The excitation filter is a device that filters out noise. The exciter is usually a bandpass filter that passes only the wavelengths absorbed by the fluorophore, reducing fluorescence from other sources and preventing excitation light in the fluorescence emission band. The mirror is dichroic. A dichroic filter, also known as a thin film filter, is a highly accurate color filter that allows light of a limited spectrum of hues to pass while reflecting light of other colors. The emission filter is what you're looking for. The emitter is usually a bandpass filter that passes just the wavelengths produced by the fluorophore while blocking all other light, notably excitation light, outside this band. Optical filters provide the darkest backdrop by preventing undesired excitation radiation, including UV and IR, or sample and system autofluorescence. Working. The exciter filter allows light of a specific wavelength to pass through the path to the specimen. The excitation wavelength is blocked or absorbed by the barrier filters, allowing only certain wavelengths to pass through. The wavelength of the associated emission that passes through the eye. Dichromatic mirrors are specialized filters that efficiently reflect the excitation wavelength while allowing the emission wavelength to pass through. They are placed after the exciter filter but before the barrier filter in the light path, and they are directed at a 45 degree angle to the light flowing through the exciter filter as well as the barrier filter. The name of these fluorescent filters comes from the color glasses placed between the glass components. Advantage The most common approach for analyzing the dynamic activity seen in live cell imaging is fluorescence microscopy. This is due to its capacity to separate individual proteins with great selectivity in the presence of non-fluorescing substances. 
It has adequate sensitivity to identify as low as 50 molecules per cubic micrometer. Distinct colors may now be used to stain different sorts of molecules, allowing numerous varieties of the molecule to be monitored at the same time. For both in vitro and in vivo imaging, these features combine to provide fluorescence microscopy a distinct edge over other optical imaging methods. This is the picture of latent fingerprint under fluorescence microscope. You can see how detailed the image is. Forensic importance. Latent fingerprints. Fluorescence microscope is used to view latent fingerprints. Many researchers have included various distinct nanomaterials into LFP detection due to their unique fluorescence characteristics. GSR, gunshot residue. We can examine gunshot residue with the help of fluorescence microscope. The heavy metals such as lead, barium, etc. gives fluorescence under different wavelengths of light. Immunology. This approach employs antibodies antigen specificity to direct fluorescent dyes to specific biomolecule targets within a cell, allowing observation of the target molecule's distribution across the sample. Metallic poison. In case of any metallic poisoning, we can examine it under fluorescence microscope as it will give fluorescence for different metals at different wavelengths. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Hope you learned something new. If you have any query, please do let us know in the comment section. To watch such videos please subscribe our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon for notifications.